Um, hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Yarek. I hope you can hear me. If not, please let me know. I'm going to be telling you a little bit about OpenStreetMap. And when I first wrote in, I wrote to, to talk. Oh, sorry. I should probably. OK, now I will be able to know how exactly how much I'm going over. Um, yes, what it is, why we care. And it was initially pitched at how it works, but I kind of think that how people can contribute is more important. And we might not have time for how it works. If you have questions, you can talk to me after. So to get into what it is, uh, OpenStreetMap is a freely licensed map of the world that is on the internet. Um, it started off as a street map, so how to get places in cars. Um, it's, it, it's since expanded into basically anything that exists in the real world it can be mapped. Um, so we've got land use, forests, where lakes are, where forests are, um, address points, buildings, um, things like points of, it's called points of interest internally. It's stores, restaurants, healthcare units. It's stuff that people might want to visit, might want to search for, might want to search for by name, might want to find out where to get to, and anything else you might want, you might like. Um, this is the Linux user meetup, so a, a word about the freely licensed bit. It's under Open Database License, which is an attribution and share alike license. Um, it's basically CC by SA, except CC by CC is for creative works, and this is more of a database, so it's not really creative per se. Um, it was actually CC by SA, but it got re, re licensed for that reason. Um, yes, this is my one big, one big screen. Why do we care? Um, we care because this is information about our world, about our environment, uh, environment in a wide sense, not only in an environmental sense. Um, we, it's important that we can get, keep that information free and open and not encumbered by some terms of uh, terms and conditions or a license or whatnot. If we want to know how long it takes to get somewhere or how can we get, how far can we get from a given point or where are the supermarkets in Toronto or stuff like that. This is, it's very important that we can keep that information and not depend on others or on a multinational corporation for that. Especially now that we're having this brave new digital feature where a future where everything is going to be self-driving and um, yes, the corporations are not always our friends, especially when it comes to data. Um, so now to an actual a bit of an introduction about actually using it. Um, the, probably the main thing that people land on is the website openstreetmap.org. Um, it's got, it's a raster map if that tells anyone anything. So it's basically like any map that you may have seen on the internet. Um, it's got a search functionality that exposes one of the search APIs so you can search for addresses um, and names of things. Um, it's got the basic router that you can use to test things um, and it hosts um, a whole bunch of uh, other layers. Um, because this is a free database, you can set up your own rendering of things. So Mapbox, I think, is the major commercial provider of, uh, of, map, of tiles for OpenStreetMap data, and they've got different styles. Um, there's also adaptations, things like WheelMap, which takes that data and focuses specifically on uh, wheelchair accessibility of places. I'm not really familiar of anything that's specifically built for viewing the map on Linux. Probably the website is the closest thing, is the best thing that, uh, I mean, th there's a thin wrapper for it in GNOME, but it's basically a wrapper on that. Um, on Android, there's a bunch of apps. Um, if people are interested, Maps.me is the major commercial one. Um, it's open source commercial. Um, it does have ads now for its, uh, or. It's oriented at travel stuff, so they've got hotel ads and stuff. Um, there's a fork of it called Just Maps that removes the ad stuff but doesn't get updated as frequently. Um, and the other major uh, viewer is the open source OOSM end app, which 
uh, is basically sort of like the kitchen sink, uh, everything included tool of an Emacs model, wherein it's got plugins and it does routing and it does searches and it does everything. Uh, that's for reviewing. Um, I don't, okay, I'm going to skip past this. This is a slide that I can talk about if people are, want to get more into how to actually edit it. Um, I would do a bit of a spiel about how people could help if they would like. Um, I think that at this point, it's still most important to actually spread awareness that this option exists. And the other thing is actually use it so that we get the critical mass on the map and enough eyes on the map. And if lots of people are using it, then they're gonna notice things that are wrong, which might otherwise not be noticed as fast, or things that are outdated. Um, you know, it's this, uh, what is this, with enough uh, eyes, all bugs are shallow. Um, similar idea sort of thing where, um, to some extent, more users does help. Um, if you do see things that are out of date, uh, you can correct or update it or make a note about it and ask people to take a look at it. Um, uh, one thing that OpenStreetMap still has a problem with is it's, uh, it does have a, I actually don't know uh, uh, how much of a problem that is, but I think it's still a bit of a problem in terms of diversity stuff, wherein it's, it's got added stuff that people like me are interested in. Um, so white males, nerds, probably. Um, so there's probably not, uh, not as much focus on things like schools or daycares, uh, I know especially are low now. Um, healthcare points, m probably in some, some neighborhoods are much better mapped than others. Um, so things that you would expect to see on the map and things that are likely missing. Um, if you can add those uh, or, and help us contribute that and make it a bit more complete for everyone, um, that would be great. Um, there are additional things I have here, but I'm just going to end over now because it's seven minutes. Um, if anyone has questions, you can ask now or you can grab me later. Uh, just I will, I will happily tell you much more about it. And thank you. Okay. Yep. So what is the process of contributing towards OpenStreetMaps? Like how do you guys make sure that I'm not the ego contributor? Oh. I, I can just try to repeat that. That might be faster. OK, so what is the process to ensure the quality of the, of the information? Um, it's basically like a Wikipedia model in that like, oh sorry, yes, thank you. Um, what is the model for ensuring, uh, for updating and for actually ensuring correctness and up-to-dateness, I believe was, was the gist of it. Um, so ultimately this, uh, the map is supposed to go, do I have this? Yeah. The map is ultimately supposed to go to what's on the ground. So the best source is people going there and looking at things. Um, in terms of correctness, it is a kind of a Wikipedia model in that it's like eventually correct. Um, so it will probably get there sometime, but it might be sort of out of date or just wrong along the way. Um, so I, that, that would be it. There are ways of um, of actually, uh, so you, there's a, uh, on openstreetmap.org there is a functionality to add a note, um, which then people can look at and check, uh, and like you can flag, hey, this is no longer correct, and then someone can, might head over and, and check that out. Um, we, uh, like, pe 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 sorry, people do go through and update things um, from street sites in Marjorie or from going there and passing by things. Some places get updated faster than others. <laughs>